sponsored by Metro PCS, bringing you closer than ever to the UFC, putting knockout coverage. So as you can see here, the story was really the takedowns for the whole fight, but Holkanovsky did a good job of, once he was closing the distance, to land some of those really tight shots, and then comfortable as well. He'll figure it out, purely based on the fact that he's so short and powerful, he's able to get... Okay, well, the judges' scorecards have been collected. We'll find the decision. of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, all 504 metres of it, which sits nearby. OK, well, the scorecards are in. Let's send it inside to Joe Martinez. He has six all for your winner by unanimous decision, Alexander. <laughs> Alexander the Great Volkanovski. A very I know, you know, yeah, maybe his debut, but he's been one of the best around this region for a while. So we've been meaning to fly you know, because it's his debut, they don't know too much about him. But I knew he was going to be tough, and the fact that he is debut, a uh, dominant uh, decision. So, so what do you do now? You go back in, obviously, getting the finish. I want some of these top guys, you know. I'm getting a lot of matches. Um, I want some of these uh, big guys, and I want a, a guaranteed fight so I can prepare, you know, all that. Look, try and bully people, try and bully me. Let's bring it on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Good guys, Alexander the Great Volkanovs, he goes back to his young family to celebrate. Take for this catch weight contest at 29, Australia's Volkanovski is Fartinas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live on FS1 World, this is UFC Fight Night, Verdun Tabora. And this battle weight 147 pounds. Tonight, he makes his UFC debut, bringing with him Shen Yang! Weighing in 149 pounds and 16 professional bouts, he has announced to South Wales, Australia, here is Alexander! ...and fighter safety during this contest. Shane Young. You ready? We're all set for a maximum three five-minute rounds of... Yeah, there must have been uh, a few adjustments made in the Volkanovski likes to stick to it. And I can't imagine a change of opponent's going to make a great deal of difference. It's just a... So Volkanovski stuck around at freestyle fighting Jim here. He's recently just had another child, so congratulations to him and his fat paycheck. And he wants the head to get yeah. back into contention and he needs to fight. He just wants to be on this card. You notice how much the Australian fans love him. And, I mean, his entrance music a bit of Game of Thrones, check out uh, Daniel Cormier's Twitter feed. He's you, can, you kind of feel like Shane Young is expecting that takedown attempt from, uh, from Volkanovski. And he saw was one of your favourites, Dan, Chuck versus Tito. Oh, yeah. against the fence. Getting his shoulder pinned to the midsection, making it very difficult for Shane Young to defend this. But... Nice. out the base of Shane Young. Nicely. He does. He does. But Shane Young's doing a good job of staying on. Really starts to find his groove. Young had a 4 0 amateur record in wins with a knockout as well. So he tried his hands at various different ranges. But the majority has fought more experienced opponents throughout his career. Smashing Shane Young up against the fence. Nice takedown there. Yeah, good outside. Volkanovski. Beautiful work by Shane Young, though. Detroit and the brand new Little Caesars Arena for UFC 218 on Saturday, December 2nd, only on pay per view. Lots of pressure and looking to go for that Asotogari outside trip. He's like a Lego brick, isn't he, Dan? He's just completely attached to you. Very hard. You can feel the redness on the back of Shane Young for being driven up. Number two after these. Yeah. Don't worry about talking to people. Just breathe. Let's go. Let's have a breathe. 
Always there, that front leg, yeah? You haven't attacked it at all. Okay? After that... You Take a little bit of power out and make it land, but Viren's going to sit up for a shot. Okay, cool. Yeah. going to hurt him when you're in there while he's... Yeah, change shot, position shot, on the yeah. cage. Change yeah. position on the cage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. Tomorrow, it's a great slate of games on Fox as the Redskins take on the or other regional action. It all starts at 1pm Eastern on Fox. Check local listings for the... He's becoming a little predictable for Shane Young because he's not been caught with it yet. But also telling him to continue to stand with a lot of his weight forward so he can really power into his punches. And it does leave... Just finding small opportunities to, to throw a strike down and perhaps you, you wouldn't need to. Oh, good work again by Shane Young. It's a... You know, this, this, uh, it, it, it makes perfect sense to be able to work in indiv one individual aspect. And you do lose opportunities like that where you can get your hand on somebody and then to the UFC. Volkanovski, Joe Lopez. It's there. Okay, keep him there. Stay for the lead, bro. Young, very well back to his feet there. He takes the leg away, the first thing he starts to do is immediately drive his shoulder straight into his opponent. The time and the space to get them back against the fence again. He immediately drives them in and smashes them into that. An opponent with a losing record. Oh, nice right. Shane Young, the Maori fighter in the UFC now. There's the right hand again. Starts to land with more frequency now. He starts to take three attacks. Volkanovski dumps his opponent on the mat. Well drilled. Well drilled part of his game. Most definitely. But the, the problem is with some difficulty here for Shane Young. Obviously great at getting back to his feet. But if he can't make the most of that. It's not Beautiful wide. Successful takedown sport. Right hand. Push his face. Push his face. the other leg. Way ahead in total strikes as we count down. Shirk about the way he fights. You know, very, very muscle sharkish. Drives forward, right hand. We'll be back with round number three after these commercials. So we're on the ground, bro. Stop trying to take his off those punches. Hold his face. That's crazy. He's still trying to take his head up a little bit yep. too much, yeah? yeah? Don't do it around the cage. I want you to go double jab too. Okay, but aim for his throat. Okay. He's going to pull his Warm and then go on to a okay, shot. Yeah, have a drink. Okay. Give him a drink. But when he's drifting, don't just drift with him. So the pressure of Volkanovski is the he takes the leg away and then drives his head and shoulder into his opponent to smash them into You're the back. <laughs> Shane Young now taking the on the defensive for 10 minutes now. And the 13 strikes of 70. That's only a knockout. It will come. So with someone as compact as amazing. Nice near you to fix what's coming his way and he just can't right now. A very, very detached setting the base against the defense as well, then it's sort of kicking away yes, the legs. Shane Young with the takedown. Call Volkanovski by surprise. Very powerful performance. Around like a wet tracksuit when he wants to. <laughs> Like a wet tracksuit, terrible mess. <laughs> Look at this pressure from Volkanovski, that head position, phobic style of fighting. Not wanting to keep his shoulders pressed on the mat. He's choosing to unload from a, a bit of height. Very efficient. Success with his strikes now. Quite incredible, really. The old belly pressure. Guard, but you don't want to do a great deal with half guard when you're this close to the fence. You can see it starting to, to wear away from him. He's starting to. He's becoming more and more. Two big clamps by way of Alexander Volkanovsky removing that each time. Only 18 on the floor from Volkanovsky, so that's possibly something he can pick up a little bit. Last 30 seconds in his third and final. A credit to the toughness of Shane. I don't think many people are going to disagree that he's going to add a third win to his UFC record.